Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Janu tribe, where we just had quite the twist in our story just as we had picked out the oh-so-perfect, carefully crafted, genetically superior children from our beginner island to send on to the middle island, and just as I was getting myself so caught up in the perfection of all of our genes and trying to breed out certain genes and trying to breed in others, I was reminded that honestly... A huge part of my enjoyment with the niche series is the fact that we have so much unexpected story happen. And we just had quite an interesting story throw himself into our tribe when a predator arrived to attack Kutata. We had Dukta show up, and I kind of want to name him something like Dusk because he just looks so amazing. Kind of like a midnight with a little bit of the, the setting sun still on the horizon. And he's just really cool. He unfortunately has short sighted eyes and spiky body so anybody who breeds with him will end up being hurt but otherwise he has beautiful blue eyes with violet eye secondary healthy immunity genes healthy blood clotting and ram horns and I just think he's kind of amazing so I'm going to see if we can invite him into the tribe even if his genetics don't point him as being one of the superior creatures my heart is singing for the story of it all and he showed up possibly chasing down this predator and willing to just rip into it even if he is not the strongest and so I would kind of like to keep him for the next island. I know that's going to make some of you who are really perfectionist on the strategy side of things just absolutely roll on the ground in agony and probably leave angry comments. But I hope you guys can just see I am in love with him for the story side of things. And that's really where my heart sings. So I'm going to see if we can invite him or not or if he's just going to take off running and into the sea and we'll never see him again. And if we can, I'm going to be scooching him down here where we have most of our creatures ready to go for the next island and I'm actually trying to reserve what spots we have left primarily for more females we have several males already we've got one two three males possibly four males and I need to get a few females over here so we were sending the itty bitties like little Ariali slowly but surely over there and Pearl who I'll go ahead and let her snag that treat from her dad and then head over here we were sending them over to uh, over to the launch pad where they can start gathering together and getting ready to cross over to the next island but now I kind of want to swap out one of our males for one of the possible awesome new male that like the awesome guy we just found so I'm gonna name him Dusk actually let me see if I can come over here yes and you can actually rename them already so let's see if I can invite him into the tribe there we go we're gonna invite him in so here he is. Unfortunately, we cannot attack the predator anymore. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say, I kind of feel like he should stay here until the predator is gone. That's true. Um, because he did arrive to try to attack the predator. The carnivore is, however, poisoned. So he is not long for this world no matter what. I think little uh, Sisi Ra, who is short-sighted, would probably get a little bit uncomfortably close, believe it or not, to the predator. Because she wants to see what's going on. Oh dear, I really hope that's a bunny now that new Kier Duke is uh, exposed over here. Jilly, you can come up. Oh, that's Mole. It's just Mole. Jilly can go ahead and get involved in this to try to defend the tribe too. So I'm glad to see that's happening. Over here, we had Piper give birth to another child. This one, a little boy named Vancuro. And he does have the ability to go swimming and underwater breathing. He has the ability to crack things open and he has collecting. He does have short-sighted eyes, which ironically does we were trying to breed out but again the arrival of dusk is just a good reminder for me too that sometimes it's not all about just the perfecting of the genetics sometimes it's about the story and I'm really excited to see where this is going to go so I think dusk can see that the predator is weakening and he is going to share tells of the fact that the next island the next places that they can actually go and explore where he is noticing the tribe is preparing to leave for it's a very dangerous land one that he is quite familiar with and he wants to be sure that they all know they're getting ready to walk into another den of predators and it's not an easy place to live so we're going to send him over so that he can offer up some guidance to our little crew 
who's getting ready to leave. And I'm gonna have to sort through which ones I wanna keep and which ones we're gonna send yet again. Sadir, I was going to be sending over, I believe. And then Pearl was going and Ariali was possibly going. And again, it's really funny because if you remember all the way back to our version of Adam and Eve that we had on this island, and we renamed them. Orchid is actually the daughter of Eve, who's now gone. And we had her, like, we had a new name for her. But if you remember back then, we decided that this pure white sort of fur, or really any color fur on females that has no pattern, is considered a sign of beauty. And here we go with Ariali, Pearl, and... Uh, wait! Sadir, there we go. Sadir, Ariali, and Pearl. Uh, or Ariali, Pearl, and Sadir. There we go. <laughs> they look identical. I was going to say they look identical. And they have those really strong traits of um, just having patternless fur. Beautiful patternless fur, which is what this tribe, the Janu tribe, seems to really enjoy. So I'm sending those three over here. And that would put three females here. And then one slot left for a possible male. And I think we're definitely going to be sending Dusk along. So who would I leave behind? Would I leave behind Pookie? Maybe. Let's see their immediate skills. We've got fishing. We've got some attack. Rira is a little old now that I think about it, but she's got healthy immunity and she's healthy because she doesn't have she has normal sighted eyes and normal blood clotting. And then Kier Kier has E and B immunity. So who would I leave behind if I had to pick someone? Now, what do you have? He has A and F immunity. So maybe somebody with F. Hmm. And then we've got A in here already. And yeah, Kirvan. Maybe Kirvan? But he's got some useful skills, actually. I really do like Kirvan. He does have some useful skills. Ray is going. Maybe Vira? I feel like I need to take more of the females, though. And Nunu. I was going to take Nunu, but I think I already have... Yeah, actually, I kind of already have Nunu's skills, don't I? With Kuvan. I think Kuvan is actually Nunu's brother. Yep, I don't think we need to take Nunu. So I think that's the that's the decision. So I'm sorry, Nunu. I brought you along for all of this and then changed my mind. And then Eri here has a whole bunch of traits we don't want to take to the next area. <gasps> fish! There's actually a fish, you guys! Oh my gosh, can I get him? Can I get him? I really want those fish. I really want her to be able to do some fishing. So she'll be able to stay and do some happy fishing. Oh, and Nunu can't even crack open that shell. Oh man, well he can come up here at least. So yeah, I'll continue to move the females over and then Dusk can come with them, offering to help them out with um, with keeping them safe on the new island. I think that'll work out. And Vonro we've decided can actually stay because there's not quite enough room. And if we're going to leave Orky here, yeah, she has a lot of traits we probably don't want to send on, but let's actually have Orki and Vonro have a child. And then that means that Komi will actually be able to see her grandchild as well, which should be very interesting. I think she's curious about that. And then I'm going to bring Vonro over here to kind of light up some of this area so we don't have a predator just leaping out at us. And then I'm just going to have to hope, like I keep saying, that that is the correct collection of creatures to take, because in the end, some of its story, some of its great decisions, and some of it you just have to kind of roll with. So let's move Triton over here so we can keep a close eye on this predator. And let's get rid of this puppy. All right, come on, buddy. No, hang in there, guys. And he's gone. All right. So the poison had set in. Good job, New Deer. You actually helped out quite a bit. Uh, so New Deer stepped in, and he was able to save the day. Thank goodness. Oh, look, an orc is bleeding. No, orca. All right, can everybody who was hurt be taken care of? I think so. Um, let's see, let's step in here. Yeah, everybody is taken care of and they can eat. Oh, Mole is stepping out. Oh, poor Mole. It's okay, Mole, it's safe now. He's just, he's kind of adorable. He's like a pet more than anything. And Jalee is content to know that everybody's safe again. Holy moly days, Jalee, there's so many bunnies in the water for some reason. And we'll send little new Kier Duke down here to help her out with the berries. So Mole continues to be kind of like the uh, the tribe pet more than anything like that. Lakori can stay here. We'll have her just keep an eye out for Mole. They've kind of adopted him. Um, and then Kutata is going to be okay, thank goodness. So we'll move him around. And Triton, Triton is going to be watching over the tide pools. So I think I think this is good. Triton will stay and watch over the tide pool, the tide pools, and make sure everything is good there. 
Piper can have one more baby, just so that we know what life would be like over here. Ariely, I was supposed to move you. No, Ariely. Oh, I got distracted because I saw those fairies. Sorry, guys. So we're almost there with all of the females who are going with us. So Sadir can come on down. And we'll go ahead and move her right over here. And then we just need to put Dusk. So Dusk is ready to go too. He can step over here and like help collect some things. And then we can move him right there. So now we're literally just waiting on Ariali, who I accidentally misclicked on. And then she will be able to go with us and she will be able to start the new island. I'm kind of nervous. I always get so nervous when it's time to leave an island and leave behind all of the creatures who are going to be carrying on their own special stories here. And so Orki has had a child and she has had Rami, who has excellent movement actually and is indeed short-sighted and does indeed have doubled up immunity, which makes me glad that we're not sending her to the next island. But Rami has been born, so Orki is quite happy. She has Komi, her mother, who is about to pass away, but at least Komi knows that her daughter has had some wonderful children and is passing on Alik's genetics. Because if you guys remember, Alik was the creature that we pulled up out of the water. Oh, look at you. Okay, okay, there's Komi. And Komi had her mate, let's see, Alik. And Alik was the one that we pulled up out of the water when he was drowning because he ran away from us out of fear and ended up in deep current and we rescued him. It was, it was pretty, a very cute moment. So now Komi gets to see the continuation of her legacy at least. So at least that is happening. Wonderful, wonderful, all right. And we'll go ahead and next day, oh, goodbye Komi. Geez, that's always so hard, but it feels appropriate to prepare for going to a new tribe with this kind of this kind of action going on. All right, and Newt can gather up these nuts. And now we're gonna get Ariali. <laughs> Just one more day, and then we will be able to send her on her way too. And we can collect up whatever extra food we've got here and there. And little uh, Vancouro can go ahead and help out with collecting up some food. Triton is going to always be eternally watching over the tide pools. We'll be able to remember that. And then let's see. We can actually have New Year go ahead and become pregnant with both of these females just to see what kind of babies we would have. And of course, Mole is just roaming around the place, having a grand old time. And Jalee is curious about the water bunnies. So they, they should have a good time. It looks like the Cory is going to take it upon herself to do the last little bit of exploring over here. And we'll start spreading everybody out a bit better. Rami, we'll move you up here. We'll put your mom over here. Your dad can go up here. And they can keep a watch. I'm, I'm content. I'm going to miss this island. And I'm going to miss the stories here. But I'm content with the ones we have picked. And I'm content with the new adventure that we have to go on. So let's say goodbye. <gasps> no! All of my ideas, all of my plans, thrown out the window at the last second. <laughs> Orky, you had to make sure that one of your children went, didn't you? You guys, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We have the special mutation, the unexpected <gasps> beak. Oh my goodness, feeding from the bottom. What does that even mean? We have the platypus beak now. Orky! Orky! You had to do that to me. <laughs> now I have to send her daughter. <laughs> I can't believe that. You are such a goose. I was just about to send everybody and then that happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. <sighs> We're going to have Alik continue his genetics along after all because Komi's daughter, let me see if I can find where the heck, where the heck did this little one go? It's all just such a gigantic mess. I can't believe this. Alik, you live on. Alik, congratulations. And let's see, we have Orki and her mother was Komi. I'm pretty darn sure. So let me find where Komi went. There's Komi. And then where are her children? Uh, Pookie, Orky, there we go. Here's Orky. So yeah, Orky is indeed a child of Alik. So we're going to name her daughter this little one. Um, let's see. Uh, let's try Comilk. 
call, well, we'll do call me with two eyes after her grandmother who just passed away the moment before she was born. I love this. I love this. I can't believe it. Now I have to send to this child. Okay. So congratulations, Vonro. You have just had a platypus child. And I think that even though it's going to hurt Orky, she knows that her child will get a chance to go on to the new island and it will be absolutely amazing and an opportunity for her. I really hope she can, she can do a little bit of fishing because of her claw and she can do a little bit of swimming and she can do like uh, ability to dig up underwater fields from beak. I have no idea what that's going to do for us. Maybe it's like digging in the water. So we're going to see what that does, but we're going to send her daughter along. And now Ariali, I've got to swap Ariali with somebody, I think. Pearl, I don't know if you should change places with Ariali because Ariali actually has the ability to do underwater breathing and fishing, um, which would be quite useful. Hey, speaking of fishing, Missy, would you please catch these fish? <laughs> Maybe if we had two fishers, it would work out a little bit better. Okay. Oh my gosh. I've got one, two, three, four females. And now I've got to send this little one with me. I kind of want to dump one of the males. I'm sort of tempted to like remove Pookie for some reason. And I don't know why. It's not like Pookie's doing anything. Maybe Kirkir, he's getting old. They're getting old, you guys. We can't drag our paws any longer. Kirkir actually is getting kind of old. Does he have anything that I would want to take um they don't have in the others i don't think so he has swimming tail and he's just he's just healthy he's just healthy and he would be a good provider but i think i need to take the females here here ah i wanted to take him because he's spotty and he's got antlers ah but then this happened why did this have to happen i don't know maybe Ariali doesn't need to go I don't know. I mean, she's a fisher. So if we have a fishing area, it would be really good for us. All right. All right. Um, but taking females would be good because they can just have tons of babies. All right. So, and then let's see. Kuvan, healthy. That's why he's going. I guess Pookie doesn't have to go. He's just kind of a generalist. He's a really good attacker. He's a really good fighter, actually. He's our best fighter. That's why I was bringing him. Well, gosh, darn, da darn, da darn, da darn. Uh, Sadir, how are you different from Pearl? I mean, they're pretty identical, other than their genetics. And then there's Ariali, and she carries, the thing is she carries some really unique genes that would be good to pass on to. Well, Fui, all right, that just threw everything. I think I'll swap out. I think I'll swap out neither of them. <laughs> All right, Kier Kier is getting pretty old. I think I'll go ahead and put Kier Kier out of the out of the mix, even though he's one of my my good males. Um, I know I can have him try to mate with a couple of my females before he goes, so he will be able to pass on his lineage that way at the very least. And I might have him mate with a couple of the other females, and then that's just going to be what we're going to do. I can't believe she had the gall to go and have a platypus child just before I was going to move. So. That definitely surprised me. And then we have Kier Kier Duke over here, who is really handsome. Look at that, he's got a white horn. I wonder if the family would consider that extremely beautiful. Oh no, an orca passed away just before she had a baby. Oh, that's really, that's just absolutely tragic. And then we have little Anna down here. So yeah, all of the other babies are pretty normal, you guys. <laughs> We just had one majorly unexpected twist in that family tree, which always happens. whoops a -dups. And then it looks like LaCory just fell into a little tide pool down there. Oh, but she found a little clam, so that's going to be good for her. Ah, all right. And let's go ahead and get serious about moving on. Going to make sure I collect up every single possible berry I can, at least. And then maybe come over here and get this berry. Mole, mole, poor mole can't even feed himself. And then, did you already move, my dear? Yeah, Ari already moved. Oh, and Newt just passed away of old age. Oh, and let's see if I can get this fish, finally. Am I ever gonna be able to, why can't I fish? Fishing's hard, you guys. I'm gonna remember that. Fishing is hard. Oh my goodness, and look at Comey. She's got really good movement, actually. In fact, if I scooch him over, <gasps> yes, all right, Comey has made it into the lineup. Fantastic, that makes me pretty darn happy. And Ray is so old now. <laughs> Ray, when did you get so old? So I'm gonna move him here. I'm gonna move Ray over. We're gonna let Kier Kier mate with her. She's gonna jump back into location. And then everybody is lined up and they've got their teeny little tag along. I can't believe this, um, like, surprise last minute addition to the family 
<laughs> to the family lineup. Everybody is ready to go. And then everybody has to stop everything <laughs> because of this, this surprising birth. So, all right, hang in there, Orky. I know you're gonna miss your child, but this is probably for the best in the end. And we'll gather up the last little bit of food we can just to see what we can collect for everybody. Good, good, good. Gonna get everything I can off of these berry bushes. I would destroy the berry bushes, but I don't think anybody has enough attack actually. And there's a little mole just wandering around. All right, there we go. A little bit more there. I'll gather up this and then I'll even send Sandy down here and she can gather up this. Can I crack this nut? Where the heck? What? Her clam disappeared. All right, the clam, what did you do it? She can't even attack that bunny. <laughs> All right, and there we go, you guys. So with little Comey here, I would say it is time to move on. Wow. Well, that was some unexpected twist for sure. And I wasn't even ever able to get in any of those fish. So I'm beginning to think I'm a really bad fisher. All right, and with Dusk leading the way and our creatures getting older day by day, so it is time to move. Let's go, you guys. Rira is going to lead the way to the next island. All right, let's travel. Oh, I really hope I pick the right ones. And what is the island gonna look like? What is it gonna look like? Is it gonna have rivers? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous and excited. <laughs> is it gonna be good for, for what we picked or is it gonna be completely opposite on, on all the genetics that we chose for everybody? What kind of... <gasps> flowers oh my gosh all right i really hope and there's a nest there's already a nest there's a flower pile and a nest already and let's come up and let's see what we have here oh my gosh this is so different from anything i was even expecting Look at all these tide pools! Look at all this land we have to explore! Look at all these water tiles we could possibly have the brand new little digger look through! And look at that! That's a waterfall! <gasps> okay, you guys. We're gonna start exploring and we're gonna have to figure out a really cool name for this island. But I think it is perfect for our little tide pool creatures because there's plenty of tide pools for them to stare in and try to possibly get some prophecies from. We have three trees. We've got quite a few little spots to explore, a few rivers, a few streams, a lot of grasslands, a bit of swamp, just a teeny bit of the savanna grasslands and quite a few rocks down there in the water. So we're gonna have to see what kind of unexpected challenges we have on this brand new island with Dusk leading the way next time. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.